Guys, what's up? When we tell you that they're planning for the next, or they're making preparation for the next pandemic, a lot of you think it's just some conspiracy, but it's not. It's happening right before your very eyes. On Monday in New York, this is what was taking place. They were making preparation for the next pandemic. I'll stay on this course. topic for a minute, but that's to me the most, the worst current example of the U.S. government just completely, I will use the word lying to the public, saying that H5N1 is low risk. H5N1 is a very high risk of the worst disaster our species has ever experienced. When that virus is human to human transmissible by natural means or by deliberate bioengineering, it will kill most of us. The collapse or the virus will kill most people on earth most likely. That's not low risk, that, that's high risk. And it's inevitable according to biologists. H5N1, which you on one of your recent programs called bird flu, that's the old name. You shouldn't call it bird flu because it's not avian flu anymore. It's spreading in mammal populations around the world. It's in dairy cows. Which right, of course so they're saying bird flu would trigger. We did a video recently, we talked about that. Some people thought it was a joke. Some people thought it was just conspiracy, but it's not conspiracy. They're telling you what they will be doing right before your very eyes. They're putting the information there. They're letting you see, and you're not paying says, attention. And New York hard. Health Plus Hospitals trained for potential bird flu outbreak. And there are four notes that goes with this. All right. So we're just going to go through them right now. It says New York Health Plus Hospitals recently held a multi-agency exercise to test the health system's ability to care for patients with what? H5N1 and prevent additional exposures. We spoke about that in the last video. This exercise underscores our commitment to ensuring that our health system is prepared to respond to infectious diseases, threats, including H5N1, which is the next pandemic. And then Said Madad, who led the exercise and is a chief bio preparedness officer at New York City Health. So you have a chief bio preparedness officer dealing with it. But you know what's going to be happening, right? Respiratory issues again. It said in an October 22nd news release, what's on Tuesday, while the current risk to the general public is low, that's what they're saying, these preparedness efforts are critical to testing protocols and maintaining a high level of readiness. They're getting ready for the next pandemic. They're doing it right in front of your very eyes. They're doing the drills, they're doing everything. The drill was a joint effort between the New York City-based health system and the city's health department. It involved what? Screening, isolating, and caring for patients with simulated symptoms of bird flu. All personnel involved in the drill done the appropriate personal protective equipment. Same thing we heard in the last pandemic when they were doing the tabletop exercise, isolating, caring, screening. During a virtual pre-screening, the patient reported mild respiratory symptoms after contact with an infected bird. The patient was sent to New York Health and Hospitals, Kings County for testing, and simulated samples were sent to the health department laboratory for testing. The drill involved the transfer to New York Health and Hospitals in Bellevue for ongoing care, which tested EMS protocol for handling infectious disease patients. So the person reported a mild respiratory symptom of the contact with an infected bird. So they're testing this whole thing out. Of course, they did the routine. They sent the person to the hospital. They did the testing to the labs just to ensure that they're ready for the next pandemic. New York Health Plus Hospitals is a leader in crisis management and emergency response. In August, three executives at the health system released a textbook featuring lessons from how the nation's largest public health system responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. New York City became the epicenter of the outbreak in spring 2020, with New York City Health Plus Hospitals training more than 25,000 patients with the virus through 2023. They're doing it again. They become the epicenter too. They are doing it right before your very eyes. They're saying that the ongoing H5N1 outbreak has affected more than 300 dairy herds in 14 states since last March, according to the CDC. 27 human cases have been reported mostly among people who work with infected cows. Federal health officials, of course, always tell Americans that the risk to public health is low and there'd be no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. That's what they always say. However, infectious disease experts have raised concerns that the nation is not conducting enough testing to quickly identify and respond if and when that were to occur. So they know it's going to happen. That's you need to stop happens. thinking that everything is a conspiracy. It's not. People are doing this right before your very eyes and they're telling you what they're about to do. 
what's about to go down. All right. You need to be prepared, have your plans in place, know what you're going to do when it comes about, because this is going to be big. It's going to be the entire world oh, yeah. everywhere. People eat meat every day. Mm -hmm. They drink cow milk every day. I did the last video. We're going to leave a link in the description. Go check it out. You get all the information you need on that. Stay awake, people. Stay awake and take the information seriously. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. You have to comment. You have to share. Or YouTube is not going to place in the recommended section. And this information is not going to get out to the people who need them. So do what you got to do there for us, okay? Stay good, community.